we already have faced this problem 15 years ago, and it was pretty well established that if you want to go after the big tech companies, create policy options that are just for the big tech companies. Um, and we have that with the Digital Markets Act. I, I would say just one other uh, element to that, which is really interesting, is um, people have been in Brussels a very long time. We'll remember the suggested bit tax uh, from 1994. Uh, the idea that all content that goes over the internet is taxed. And the reason why we didn't do that at the time, this was a, a suggestion of Luc Serta, a very famous economist who was an advisor at the time uh, to the Employment uh, Commissioner, uh, the Irish Commissioner, who was the Employment Commissioner. And the reason we didn't do that back in 94, 95 is because we realized that innovative small companies would be subject to this just as big companies are. And it's only a few years ago that I recall the chief executive Deutsche Telekom saying, well, of course, we'll encourage all content companies to use our specialized services. And it's the specialized services that will give them guaranteed quality of service to their users. Um, and we could call that, and he, he definitely said this at the time, I could go back and check records for you, uh, the startup innovation tax that they will pay to Deutsche Telekom. So if the big telcos want big tech to pay more, then they could encourage them to have this guaranteed quality of service on the specialized services. I haven't seen that. Uh, have you seen that happen? I haven't seen that happen. There is this exception in the open internet regulation that permits them to charge more for this guaranteed quality of service. And if they really felt that that was important, then they should be able to persuade a big tech that they should do that. 